The film details an account of the true story of the convicted serial arsonist John Leonard Orr. John Orr is an arson investigator who tries to figure out who has been setting fire to family businesses and Orr is the prime suspect. Over the course of the film, Orr has been appearing and disappearing, before and after the fires begin, which makes his friend, Keith Lang, a policeman, suspicious. Orr tries to provide an alibi to prove his innocence, but his plan seems to backfire. He starts to interview witnesses who claim to have seen a fireman named Aaron Stiles leave a diner when the fire began. Lang begins to figure out if Stiles is involved with the murder of a high school student who talked to him. Lang realizes that there is no record of Stiles anywhere, because Stiles does not exist. He comes to a shocking conclusion that Stiles is, in fact, his best friend, John Orr. Lang also realizes that Stiles is a psychotic version of Orr, whom wanted to know what it was like to be an arsonist. Lang has a SWAT team break into Orr's house, where they have a warrant for his arrest. They start to look over evidence found at the different crime scenes, leading to Orr's arrest. In the end, he is found guilty for the fires, and the murder of a young woman who knew him in a diner, as well as an illegal weapons collection his wife and daughter didn't he know about. Lang was one of the jurors trying prove his friend not guilty for reason of insanity. The judge and other jurors threw out the plea, so that the victim's families will seek justice. Lang steps down for being a juror and watches the trial on television, much to his disgust to see his friend spending life in prison. The film ends when Orr, now in prison, says between you and me, it's always about ego, referring to Aaron Stiles, who almost got away with it. The film was directed by Newton Thomas Sigel, and the soundtrack for the film was written by John Ottman.